guys, let me let you in on a secret. We like to party and dress up and do all kinds of silly things. You might wonder how in the world does that fit in with homesteading? Well, I'll tell you. You like to party, babe? Sometimes. <laughs> He's the party pooper. Every crowd needs one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> do you see what's missing right here? No gym equipment. That's right. Because we need space to have a party. So, here's the plan. Eli's turning 10. Double digits, guys. 10. I can't even believe it. I have a 10-year-old. Yeah. I had a hardcore moment this week when I get took my kids and they had to get their hair cut and then I had to buy hair gel for the first time and then I had to buy deodorant for my child and then it hit me while I was walking around Kohl's with my mom looking and thinking oh I used to shop here for my little babies and I'm realizing I don't have any little babies anymore they are grown up and not in the baby section so here is how partying, dressing up and whatnot fits into homesteading. Okay, this is how. This, have I brought you guys in here yet? This is my craft room. Um, it's a little wild, it's a little crazy, you know. Don't, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Hi baby. Uh, yeah, I like to do crafting. And so when I had kids, so before I had children, I liked to scrapbook and do crafting projects and I would take our entire table and completely cover it um, with a project and, you know, we might eat at the couch for a little while. Well, then I had babies and you can't do that anymore. So I decided I would take my crafting and put it toward birthdays. So I have done a lot of birthdays at this point. They're always super fun. When my sister and I were growing up, we used to throw parties for our youth group, which were always awesome. Um, and that's not just my opinion. Our friend said so too. So, you know, I'm not just being full of it. Uh, anyway, um, so in order to get my craft fix, I build birthday parties and harvest parties and I save all the decorations. How does that fit into homesteading? Budgeting. Yes, if you want to be frugal, being a homesteader is all about frugality and also, that's a word, right? Hopefully that's a word. If not, my mom will cor correct me later. Yay! <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, if you ever have been to a birthday store, like a party store and you go see and they're like party packets so you can decorate your house and whatnot, those suckers are not cheap and really you don't get a lot of stuff. So a long time ago, I started just working on our own decorations and now because I already had a ton of craft supplies, uh, and I just keep collecting them. So most of the time we can use similar decorations and just revamp them for party after party. So, um, so I actually thought I would take you guys along for this party build. I've already started building decorations, as you can see. Um, here's the banner. Can you tell what the theme is this year? So I let my kids choose their own theme. They get to pick what they're interested in. We have done so many different things. Swamp parties. Uh, last year we did an Area 51 party. That was really fun. Uh, this year, Eli has chosen Star Trek, um, and it's not for the reasons most people would choose. He's super into space crafts, so we are trying to go that route. I'm going to do like a glow theme, and um, I'm not sure how this happened, but a few years ago, um, we started dressing up for birthday parties. Now, we're not dressing up for this one. However, Maggie and I will probably do some fun makeup because why not? And I'm sure there's great Pinterest ideas. If I find one, I'll post it on here for you. Uh, yeah. So I ordered just a couple things, some lights and, um, this fun little light thing off of the great Amazon. And really, I just try to keep it cheap. So I will show you my stash of paper which has grown over the years. So I have like every single color 
tape. I've got all the colors. Um, it's just cardstock. If you go to Michael's, they always have 40% off coupons. When their paper goes on sale, I buy their paper. Um, that works really well. So we're going to continue um, doing this. And mostly what I thought I would take you along for is decorating um, and party prep. So let's do it. Step one, start with a clean slate. I start by removing all of our decorations and any toys, socks, you name it, get those out of the way. While I'm working on party prep, my husband is busy working on a totally different project. This is going to be my new linen closet, guys. decorations over here. The plan is, is we're going to transform this house into a Star Trek glow party. Uh, like old Star Trek, not new Star Trek, okay? Like, I mean, we need to keep it simple. So, the uh, goal is suggestion. That's all. It's easy, okay? So, Micah is still working on the linen closet, and I'm going to work on decorating for the party. completely full. So here's the finished product. I'm sorry to get to take you along for more. Okay, come on birthday boy. How old are you? 10. <laughs> come check it out. You are recorded. What are you doing? Um, oh, I forgot to turn on those lights. Do you like those? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mom. Good morning. Look at that. It automatically uh. changes colors. They're like little lasers. So I like to let Maggie choose her makeup that she wants. We look on Pinterest and we choose a style that kind of matches our party theme. And then I do my very best to recreate it. So hers is galaxy right now, right? You love it, Maggie. <laughs> hers, is, hers is galaxy this time. And I'm going to go with Vulcan makeup. So we'll see if I can do it. Um, 
I am very low on memory and space in my phone right now, so I'm not gonna film me doing my makeup, but I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. you guys uh what do you think if i get better light here for you there we go my star trek inspired look for the day not too bad what do you think all right well I like to hang out with my kiddo on his birthday. We've already had a fun morning. His daddy took him out to breakfast and we're all set up for the party, which I did not get to do footage because my phone was filled up when I was starting to decorate. So I'm sorry, but we're still working on <laughs> the closet downstairs. So I'll take you down there so you can see a look at what we've got so far on the closet. And um, yeah, we're just going to go hang out and have a party. I'll give you a snippet here of the party in a little bit, but yay, my boy is 10. I can't believe it. So real quick before I let you go, um, we started a long time ago when my son, my first son, who's 10 now, uh, was a baby. I realized, how is he going to know it's any other day? It's, it's a special day if there's nothing going on. So I, that's when I decided the um, night before all of my kids' birthdays, I decorate and that way when they wake up in the morning, they're all surprised and happy. And um, a few years ago, my kids started asking me to dress up with them for different themes. And since we already dress up for a harvest party, I decided, why not? I can do that. So um, it's their special day. I just, which I try to make it special and fulfill their birthday wishes as best I can. So um, that's what we do. And so here is a look at some of our previous dress ups for you guys. I hope you enjoy that while I'm walking downstairs to show you the closet. As you're about to see, we have done so many different parties. It's crazy, um, but it's really fun to look back on all of these things that we've made together. The kids usually help me with a few of the decorations, but mostly it's a surprise for them. And most of this stuff cost hardly anything. If you guys are local and you're looking for awesome cakes, my sister, she has the little spoon. You can find her on Facebook and she makes amazing cakes. And that is usually her birthday gift to all of my kids is their awesome cakes. She uses it to practice her techniques and uh, she's getting pretty amazing. I think we are very blessed, but we have made so many different things and I challenge you guys if you are interested in being very frugal most of these parties I have done them for maybe $20 so like a pack of paper that cost me maybe five and some time and we usually just try to use things that we have laying around the house but um, it's been definitely a adventure dressing up and doing silly fun things like that and really the most important thing to me is making sure my kids have a wonderful day on their birthdays um that picture just a second ago was one of my absolute favorites of my children <laughs> take a close look <laughs> cake you're about to see yes it has a live fish in it it's crazy So this space before was a hot water closet and it's also been like a air heating closet but a few ooh, crazy shadows um <laughs> we have a light in the bottom for so he can keep working 
So that space before, um, ah, since we had to get rid of the uh, propane heater that was in there, it kind of died and um, it just wasn't really fixable. So we decided to take it out and now we just primarily have uh, wood heat. Actually, that is pretty much our only source of heat. We will use space heaters occasionally, um, but I have that closet just basically is a mouse trap, dirt filled, like there's nothing you can do about it because it has not been sealed in. So now it's sealed and I can keep our linens in there and I'm really excited. Happy birthday, buddy. Are you excited today? Show yeah. off your new shirt. Look at your birthday shirt. Yay, Star Trek. Oh yeah, are you excited? Did you have fun at breakfast? Yes. Do you like your decorations? Yes. Do you like mommy's makeup? <laughs> this is the biggest batch of pizza pinwheels I've ever made before. You want to make pizza pinwheels are super simple. Any bread recipe or pizza dough, whatever you use. Um, I doubled mine. Um, actually I made the hamburger bun recipe, which I have a video for. I'll link that for you guys. Um, and then you just roll it out really thin. I am cheating today and using my pizza sauce. And then we have, um, mozzarella and pepperoni so just put your sauce on don't go too thick and then cut it into slices I'm going to use a pizza cutter and I go about an inch or so and then um, just cut it in slices lengthwise like not lengthwise widthwise maybe <laughs> and uh, so lay your sauce down and then put down your pepperoni and then your um, cheese on top and then roll them up and that's it. Throw them on your sheet, bake them 400 degrees for about 15 minutes or until they look bubbly and cooked uh, and then they're done. So I'll try to show them to you as, as we go here. Do you guys ever have those days where like no matter what you do, stuff just keeps going wrong? This is sort of the one of those days for me. Um, first of all, I forgot the pizza sauce for the pizza pinwheels. So my husband had to run. Fortunately, fortunately there is now a super one very close to us. So um, he ran really quick and was able to pick up the pizza sauce. But that meant that my dough, which had already risen one time and only needed to rise one time, had to rise again. So then I realized I don't usually make bread dough for this recipe. I usually make pizza crust for this, and that's not what I did. So instead of having tiny little pizza pinwheel appetizers, I have gigantic pizza pinwheel cinnamon rolls. <laughs> So we're going to cook them and see what happens. And I guess I'm going to cut them in quarters or something when they're finished. Um, <laughs> oh, well, cheers to all of you having rough days today. <laughs> Whoa. Try again. Get back over here in the middle. <laughs> They're gigantic. But you know what I learned when learning how to do dream interpretation? So that if somebody has a really terrible dream, you can flip it, something positive. So on the plus side, I just learned how to make pizza cinnamon rolls. Who doesn't want that? It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I thought I would give you guys my tips on how to survive the aftermath of a party. Tip number one is don't worry about the dishes. Put away all of the foods that need to be cleaned up and put away and just work on getting the table not cleaned, but just all the refrigerator food especially, get it put away. Then after that, organize the dishes so that you have an easy to do manageable task in the morning. Make sure before you have your party that you oh, empty your dishwasher yay. and have it ready to just be easily loaded. So that's how I only have this many dishes right here is that I already had been doing them. If you're cooking before the party, like if you're making appetizers and things like that, choose appetizers that don't take a ton of dishes or wash them as you go so that you end up with a nice clean kitchen in the morning or something that's very manageable. Allow your kids to enjoy their party stuff for a day to, we usually go up to five days depending on the time of year. This year we have a lot of harvest stuff going on, so we can't keep the table like this for very long, but today we've decided for school, he finished his school, 
my 10 year old he finished the school already this morning all on his own so that he excuse me he could go ahead and work on his lego build are you gonna show him what you got he got an awesome lego pretty exciting stuff guys um <clears throat> hey eli yeah did you have a fun party where are yeah. you there you are did i had a great party was it tip number four is how to handle the total sugar rush that comes at the party and then the aftermath of that we are careful how we eat and obviously there's birthday parties and all kinds of life that you can't get away from so to manage that we try to eat healthy leading up to the party and then after the party i only allow the kids to have one more piece of cake so each of them has earned theirs already today cake. he's not eating cake anymore right now um <laughs> personal choice and i'm really excited that my kids are taking responsibility for their own health so what we do is we allow the kids so they helped us harvest all the tomatoes this morning in order to earn their cupcake um he'll probably have ice cream later or did you have a cookie cookie he chose a zucchini cookie um, and then we ditch the rest of the cake so when the kids were very little um they were super into like diggers and uh excavators and dump trucks and things so i would literally put the cake on the table let them eat and play and have so much fun the day after the party and then all of it went in the garbage so at least i got like a sensory bin type thing out of the cake <laughs> And I don't have to deal with my kids getting sick because of eating sugar and more sugar and more sugar and more sugar. So today we are focused on eating good. Jesus, are cold. Yeah, they're from. Whoa. <laughs> so this thing will get cleaned up. I leave all of the decorations. So all I do after the party is sort of over and while it's winding down, I take a garbage bag and I just go through wherever the party took place and we go ahead and pick up trash. Um, I allow the kids to leave out their toys on the coffee table for usually a day or two. And then I try to take back the main area of the house, um, things like that, which are super fun. The kids really love it. That will get to stay up for a day or two. And then we will get our gym set back up in here and we will um, sort of carry on after Eli's party, which is his birthday is the 13th, but um, we usually celebrate it on the weekend before. In order to kind of jump into a hardcore school schedule and sort of get into our fall routine. I try to use the week after his party for fall decorating. And then we kind of like the temperature shifts. So we have our fall decorations out and things are cooling down and the mornings are usually too chilly to play outside. So we switch our fall schedule over and we'll let the kids do their school in the mornings and then they get to play in the afternoon. So in the summer, obviously that's reversed and it just kind of, we just, we just keep changing our schedule based on the weather. Another tip is to, um, get back into your normal routine as a homeschooling family. It is, it is tempting to just kind of be lazy the day after a party and not worry about school and not worry about, you know, major chores or anything like that. But I have found it is much better for the kids and myself if I go ahead and um, get them into our normal fall routine um, or whatever, whatever routine we have going on at the time. Um, and then that way everyone can just sort of relax it's very peaceful when you do have a routine that you can count on and you don't have to worry about um as many meltdowns and i mean let's just face it sugar and tiredness and uh being overstimulated is just some of the things that come with throwing a big party so <laughs> just count on it if you plan on having those problems and they keep coming up and you know that you're awfully tired it helps you to have a longer fuse if you just plan it and then when it caught when it comes up great you can just handle it and if it doesn't come up then wonderful then then you can just carry on with your day so um i hope these tips have been helpful for you we really enjoy having big fun parties and we enjoy having people over at our houses thank you to everybody who did come and help us celebrate eli and to all the people who are hurting or um having health issues right now we really miss you and we love you and we're praying for you to get better usually so that's kind of our party scene here at our house i hope you guys had fun coming along with us for this party and uh yeah stay tuned maybe we'll do some more if you liked it please leave us a comment down below and give us a thumbs up we'll see you guys again in another video real soon